All right, I got this one up and running to do the 30 carbine. Um, basically, I'm going to use up what's left of the powder in here. I'm trying a different powder, I'm trying a 2400. I'm trying to run in a little lower velocity. I want to try cast bullets. And this load will pretty much put this plain base cast bullet about at that limit without needing the gas check. It should be right around 1600 feet per second. They do function in my gun with the jacketed ones. We'll see how they do with the cast. I got a ton of 30 carbine cases. I'm running a little low on my first round of bullets. I got another whole box of 2,000 somewhere, if not more. But, uh, so far, it's been working fine. I'm just going to run this one. This is the last shell in that tube. Check for powder. The only thing I don't like about the Lee, it's a little hard to see powder drops unless you're using a full case. See the bullet. Okay. So that's all set. And this will be for mostly 30 carbine or any other small primer stuff. I can just switch out the shell plate, which is really easy. Um, but I'll probably just leave this set up for 30 carbine. I think I'm going to be shooting that a lot in the next year or so. And I have another, my 223 press is buried back there. I'm not even going to go over there, part of the dungeon. And this will be the next project. And I'm going to set this one up for large primers, mostly 45 ACP. Like I said, I got this whole bin just full of wee pots. I got an extra carrier. Um, I believe Pastera made this for me. I'm going to give it a go for the um, 357, if it fits through there, or the 38. I don't know if it'll fit. Or I might just swap it out back onto the 223 press. For some reason, I took it off. I don't know why, I don't remember what I did. So I got a couple extra of these. like to find some more real cheap. Lee has just about everything you need to rebuild these and a lot of the pots are free. Especially the small plastic parts. Their shipping isn't unreasonable. They charge you I think four bucks for just about everything. Um, Last order I got from them, I think the whole shipping was 11 bucks. I got pots coming from Lee this week to finish off this shell carrier because I don't quite have enough of the small parts. And I needed the indexing rod for this one. And that's about it. I ordered some other small pots, but I think I paid for four out of the eight pots I ordered and they were cheap. Everything's fifty cents a buck. It's all it's all inexpensive cast plastic stuff and it works though. I mean I don't have a problem with it. Some people do, but I get it to work. Only thing I know I'm missing that I didn't order was a Z bar for the K speed, which I'm gonna get. So I got this press for nothing with a box of pots and a few uh, different dies. Old time, he just gave it to me. He's cleaning out his garage and said, "Here, I know you shoot. Put it to use." So I did. And the press for 30 carbine was free, and very minimal rebuild on that. I think the only thing I had to get for that was the little shell holder wire and uh, rebuild the the plastic gears, which I have a boatload of them because. They usually come with any press. Like here's a little rebuild kit. Uh, There's a pot powder measure. And they've got some of them little wires in there. But that's like a little maintenance kit. And I think that came with my 223 press. And I got a couple leftover parts from when I had the 
the turret presses. The turret presses are all right, but you know what? I I I had them set up for 38 and 9 millimeter, and I had a friend of mine offer me just dumb money for them, and I couldn't say no. And I paid next to nothing for them. I bought everything used. And that's the key with Lee. I mean, if you can get Lee pennies on the dollar used, they're not bad. But brand new, they're not bad. They're not great. They all have their issues. Um, in the 10 years or so I've been messing around with Lee, I broke this connector link right here. The chrome one. This chrome link, I broke one of those. It just cracked, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, everything breaks eventually if you use it. And I'm not exactly easy on my equipment either. I mean, I'll, I'll run it hard. But for the money I'm into this, I got three presses now, and I'm into it for maybe 225 bucks for three different dedicated presses. It's hard to beat that. Um, I gotta find my other powder measure. I got one of the Lee Auto discs kicking around somewhere. Here's all the different plates for it. I'll set that up on the 45 press because it it worked good last time I loaded 45. This little um, disc pre uh, powder measure. I uh, did that on the 223. I converted to 45. But I'm going to make this shell plate, or carrier, dedicated 45, or large primer dedicated. So it'll always be set up for large primers, and I can just swap the, the shell plate. But I can't find that powder measure yet, because i got too many bins full of stuff to look in. But that's that. So I'll be uh, reloading quite a bit over the next week or two. Uh, I was hoping the weather will warm up a little. I was going to make some more alloy, cast some more bullets. And that's next. That's going to be my Lodge Prima, basically 45 ACP press for now. And we'll get it up and running.